Good afternoon, students. So in this video, we are going to talk about two different types of data. As we get into this next unit and we go over like all the different ways that we can model data through dot plots and what are called box plots and understand how to calculate the average of things, we need to understand that there are two different kinds of data that we're going to be looking at. So in this video, I'm just going to kind of talk out um, some notes. So if you want to go ahead and take a moment to pause, we're basically splitting our entire page into two columns. I didn't draw a line, but you can if you want. And you can kind of copy down the definitions and the examples. There is a graph that we're going to do at the bottom. So make sure you leave at least about like a third of your page to do the graph. Okay. So let's talk about the two different kinds of data. So we have data that is known as discrete data, and then we also have data that's known as continuous data. Um, so I'm going to kind of talk through each one individually. So discrete data is data that has a specific value. It's data that can be counted. So for example, if we roll a dice, we can get the numbers one, two, three, four, five, or six, right? We can't get anything in between those numbers. So if I was to roll a dice 10 times and record those values, it's either going to be a one, a two, a three, a four, or a five, or six every single time, okay? Um, or if I was to look at a particular, like, animal shelter, if I was to count the number of dogs in a shelter, there is, like, a specific number, right? You can't have, like, part of a dog, like, or that doesn't change, like, it might change, like, day to day, but, like, in one specific day, like, there's a certain number of dogs or a certain number of cats, right? So, Discrete data is data that can be counted. If we did some sort of exercise, if I was like, see how many um, lunges you could do in a minute, right? That's going to be a specific number. So discrete data is data that can be counted. The other kind of data is known as continuous data. So continuous data can be any value that's in an interval. So that means it's data that's measured. So for example, if we want to measure the temperature outside, we can get very specific with the temperature and it could be like 83.6 degrees or it could be like 99.462 degrees. It can be very, very specific. It can be a range. It could be, it could have a fractional part to it. Okay. Same with like the speed of a car. If we were measuring the speed of a car as it goes, you know, to and from two cities, right? That is going to vary. That's data that can be measured throughout the entire car ride. It could be 26 exactly miles per hour. It could be 70 miles per hour. It could be 21.32 miles per hour. It's data that can be measured and that's kind of continuous. Okay. That there's values that can be put as decimals or fractions versus things that are just counted that have a specific number. Okay. So when it comes to graphing data, um, if we are graphing what is known as discrete data, um, because it's just data that's counted like over a period of time, we do not connect the dots in the graph, okay? So we leave it as kind of this open-ended because we're just kind of marking almost like a bar graph almost of like this is the data for this point, this is the data for this point, et cetera. Versus if we have continuous data, we're gonna measure it over the course of time. So over the speed of the car's you know, journey or the temperature throughout the day, um, if you look at like, um, if you open up like your weather app and it shows you like the temperature or the rainfall, like it'll have a graph that kind of looks like this where it's a connected line. So data that is measured, it, you have the points connected because it's showing you the change over time versus data that is only counted. It's just like, what is that measure at that certain point in time? So um, these are the two different kinds of data. Um Depending on the school year, we might do a project that kind of highlights the difference between the two of these. I'm not going to like get into it on the videos just in case we don't uh, have time to do it during the school year. But um, these are the two different kinds of data. As we go through the next unit and we discuss, we will be identifying which like types of graphs show discrete data, which show continuous and so forth. Um, for your practice questions today, all I want you to do is I'm going to give you five kind of scenarios and I want you to, to tell me, I want you to tell me if it's discrete or continuous data that's being gathered. Okay. So here are your five uh scenarios. Okay. Let me make it so it's in full screen. Um, so uh I want you to label if it's discrete or continuous. You can write down the different scenarios and then put like D or C next to each one. So your body weight, the number of doctors that is in a specific town, uh, your exact age the speed of a bus 
and jumping jacks you can do in three minutes. So label what you think is discrete or continuous. Check the table of contents for your answers. Um, double check with your table mates or teachers if you need some clarification on the difference between discrete and continuous. And um, I hope you guys have a great day. See you soon. Adios.